Good morning, everybody. It is, what is today? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. And we are taking Sandra to school. It is 7.37. We're running kind of late, so we kind of got a hurry. Hold on, kids. Hold on, Lou. But we are going to school. Uh, it is 45 degrees outside. It's supposed to be a high of 55 today and a high of 65 tomorrow. But then, on Friday, it's supposed to start snowing. And we're supposed to get like a lot of snow. So, I'm hoping that that model kind of stays. Let me get Blue out of the garbage. And let's uh, drop Dan off to school. Good morning. It's a couple hours later. I put a stew in the crock pot, so we are going to let that cook all day long on low. Smells amazing though. I also made myself a second smoothie. I had one earlier. I had a, I had a smoothie, had a sandwich. Well, one of those like, uh, what are those like wrap things? And I put some turkey and some cheese and some mayo and some mustard. And I wrapped that up and did a little roll. What did I come in here for? Oh, I was gonna see if I had a straw. So we are going to drink my second smoothie, but I had that for lunch. And now I don't really feel that well, which is what like all food does to me. I think I'm like allergic to everything. It's like springtime. It's short lived though, because we're supposed to have like four to five inches of snow on Friday but we'll enjoy it while we can. Mm -hmm. and why are we Hi everybody, we have our nice little friend Sienna with us. How does it feel to get out at noon? Great. Fabulous, Hi. oh, and our little friend Jed. You remember him? Uh, we are at the bank. We have to make a deposit. We have to run in real fast. And then we're gonna come back out. And then I'm yeah, on the fence whether or not I want to oh, well, well, go. Well, well, well. Is that a flint To Haddings or not. That's a flint yeah, I'm not sure. That's I'm not sure if I want to. So we may or may not go yeah. there. But first, we got to go inside. <laughs> Hi, everybody. A update is 102. We just now are leaving the bank. That took... Didn't take too long, but it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. But... We're on our way home. I was going to stop at Haddings, but I think we would just stop there tomorrow instead. Because I have everything for like dinner and stuff tonight with a crock pot roast. I want uh, some bread. There's a couple things that I should have got. Maybe I'll stop tonight. I don't know. We'll see. But my kids really want to play outside since it's so nice. It's currently 57 degrees, which when you're coming from negative degrees, it's like summertime out here. So we're going to go home and play outside. I'm going to finish putting away the Christmas decor and maybe sweep out the garage or something. All right, I'll talk to you guys when we get home. It is so beautiful outside. I can't believe it. My kids are like, my kids are in heaven. So is Blue. So are your caterpillars. This is so nice to be back on my porch. It's also really odd to be back on my porch in January, but it is fantastic. It looks like it wants to rain. It's really overcast and I think it's going to be 65 tomorrow and kind of rainy. So we will see, but I got myself a cup of coffee sitting on my stoop trying to make sure this dog doesn't need any of the neighbor kids. A little story time. Blue just got out of the house. I slipped and fell and I am all, look at my shoes, all muddy, 
all because we had to check to get that dog back. But we caught him in the neighbor's yard and my neighbor sat and watched it all. <laughs> oh, life. Is it good? Good evening, everybody. I sat down for a while after going through the whole blue debacle. I will tell you the whole story. So, blue, I put him inside because he kept barking at the neighbor kids. So I put him inside. I was talking to our neighbor and me and her, we were just talking and Skylar came inside. I didn't realize that she came inside, but she left the garage door wide open. So blue like darted. So I ran after blue. I slip and fall in the mud. He runs and darts the other way, goes towards my neighbor's house. So I follow him over to my neighbor's house. I like almost grab him. I fall and slip twice, again in the mud. And then uh, he finally went over and saw our neighbor's dog and I was able to grab him then. But he's like a deer. He is like a free range deer when he like gets he out. Like he would literally jump over fences. Yeah, he like would jump over fences and people and cars and things. Uh, he's really hard to tame, but we don't ever let him out of like a gated area because I'm scared that he'll just go because he's a puppy still, even though he's so small or so large, he's still, he's still a puppy. So he kind of is like freedom uh, and then runs around everywhere. It's really exciting. Uh, but we are eating the stew that I put in the crock pot this morning and we are just going to chill out. That is kind of how our evening is going to go. We're just winding down and hopefully going to bed. I did not sleep well at all last night again. So I'm in desperate need of some good, some good rest tonight is definitely on my agenda. I'm gonna try. I tried to get to bed at like 8.30, 9 o'clock last night and I stayed up until like 11.30. I just could not fall asleep and then I woke up probably four or five times in the middle of the night. I'm not really so sure why. Yeah, I just didn't sleep well, but let's hope that tonight is. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a actual day in the life. Bye everybody.